Welcome. This is a new test run, so we will see how we do today. I gotta come upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> we have not fully jury rigged <laughs> our new studio well, yet. Well, we didn't need a full 20 foot USB cord, so. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> I, I'm Pat. I'm Will. I'm Jeffrey. We're gonna go get a chair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we are we fully are prepared. Fully prepared tonight. <laughs> Don't even have a seating arranged. <laughs> Uh, that, that's how professional shows are done. Oh, I'm pretty sure. That's that's a good theory. Yeah. Is so. that how the pros do it? That is. Like that's pretty much. Yeah, when they right. talk from ten feet away too. Yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> who wants to be one of those guys that like plan out their show and have topics? And oh, blood I, points. I didn't see the the cost on that other software. What was it? Uh, it was thirty eight dollars a month. We're pro, not business. Uh, yeah, it was pro. Oh, pro. Pro. Yeah. Basic was twenty. The one that we could download from was thirty dollars. Uh, it was thirty-eight dollars a month unless you went annually, and then it was thirty. Fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. I mean, the interesting thing was I actually liked that little software they had. That looked handy as shit. It was but, pretty slick. In yeah. fact, our banner here doesn't have the the sundial-y thing on it. Oh. So because I got to go find that again. So. Uh, it's somewhere on OBS's site. Okay, I understand. So this one will be the the one where I don't know. This one's completely listenable. You don't have to sit there and watch the uh, the sound bars on the sun. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that how you listen to it? You sit there and watch. I, I play video games while right. it's on. Yeah, Jeff, you work out, so or do whatever Jeff does. So, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Most of the time, actually, I, I just uh, since if you have the this is the other benefit of YouTube, whatever it is that we're signed up for, uh, premium. The red. Yeah. The uh, red. <laughs> Is that on your phone? Yeah, you can shut the screen off and it still keeps playing. Yes. So some don't have that option. If you just have the basic one, it doesn't do that. It actually shuts itself off oh, when your screen goes dark. Okay. So, yeah. All right. I think I've had that happen a few times. And I had no idea why. Well, that's why your phone went to sleep. Gotcha. Yeah. So with YouTube Red, you can basically use it as like an MP3 player. So it just that's, runs forever. Mm -hmm. So that's the only thing that I don't like about YouTube is it doesn't have a sleep timer. So, oh. you can still use the sleep timer on your phone to shut it down. So, but it, the program itself, unlike Spotify, which has its own sleep timer. So, well, you know, I don't use Spotify though. I, I, I do it just to listen to Joe's podcast. So, well, actually, there's probably like five or six that I listen to on there now. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, they're all free. <laughs> so, free is good. But. Then, um, so like, uh, yeah, I'll, sometimes I'll go to sleep listening to those, and then I gotta turn on my sleep time, otherwise, I wake up with tinnitus. So, oh, gotcha. Yeah, my ears ring for a couple hours. Do you have a headset in? Like, while no, you. No, just earbuds. Okay. Yeah, but the rest of the time, I'm just playing video games or, quote, working. Mm -hmm. So. Well, one of the kids came by to give me a fact for a piece of candy. Cause that's what I do now. A fact for a piece of candy? Yep. I don't give it away free yeah. anymore. They Did have he tell you the 2016 election was stolen? <laughs> <laughs> Did he tell you that proportionally the barnacle has the biggest willy of all the animals? Right. No, that'd be interesting. No, that would be a good one. You yeah. get a piece of candy. Um, <laughs> so they said that if you wear uh, headphones... It grows the bacteria in your ear by 700% per hour. I did know that. You did know that? Is that actually real? Uh, I, I don't verify their facts. They oh, get it from okay. Google or something. Now they bring their phones right. and just literally <laughs> tell me a fact from Google. Oh, no, no, no. Like, That's fine. I remember, William, I had to wear headsets for work for many, many, many years. Yeah, those are little poof ball ones, though, man. Not like You're talking about like over the year. Ooh, I, I, they didn't no, give me a it picture. It does not matter. It's just keeping it closed. So I even yeah. think the little ones that you yep. stuff well, the in the earbuds? Ear. Yeah. Oh, yep. see, I love earbuds. Oh, I, I hate those to death. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh. I can't sleep. They, 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 I don't I know. I can't it's, sleep it's, with the headset on. Man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have, I have cans. You know, if I'm going to use anything, oh, I use the cans. Yeah. But uh, yeah. When's the last time you went to sleep without any noise? 
Oh, I do that pretty oh, okay. often too. Okay. It just depends on how tired I am. So, like, if I'm not that tired, I'll like I always listen to books on Audible too. Mm. So I haven't actually read a paper book in probably like three years. So <laughs> you know, but I've read more books quote over the last like two years and probably the previous ten years combined. So. You know, just because it's like, ah, this book sounds interesting. I'll listen to it for a little bit. And then, you know, if not, I'll shit can it and go get something <laughs> else because I got a subscription with them. So, you know. Gotcha. Um, but, like, other things, yeah, like, like when I'm listening to this, I just do it on my TV. Because oh. it's right there next to me while okay, I'm yeah. playing, you know, video games or writing shit or doing whatever I have to do for work. And so, yeah. Um, yeah, this week's all been The Witcher, man. <laughs> yeah, what do you think about it? Dude, that motherfucker has its hooks into me so, so deep. So it seems, man. Like it, it, <laughs> Wait, think, you gave it a chance game? before, but it's, it never, it never got you before, right? No, because I was just coming off Dragon Age the last yeah. time I tried playing it. I was like, ah, I've had enough swords and spells yeah. and bullshit like that. And then now it's just like, ah, I could play Cyberpunk again. But then I was like, nah, let me go do this one. And it took about a week before I was kind of like... Kind of like... Um, Fallout 4 was the same way with me. So I had to play it for a few days before it, like, really bit. So, on me. Is there is it a new one? No, this is the old one, oh, The Witcher okay. 3. Um, they did do... So I got it free on Steam, like, two, three years ago. Whenever we were playing Dragon Age, they had a thing, like a giveaway. Hmm. And that was one of the games they were like, yeah, you can have this for free right now. I was like, yes, please. So, because everybody says it's awesome. But then, yeah, I tried playing it. I didn't even get past the first map because I was just like, ah. <laughs> you know. And so it took me about three tries to get through the first map on this one mm-hmm. before I got the combat system down. Yeah. And I was like, oh, this is fucking easy. So let me make it hard. So, because I always play on medium settings until I kind of get a feel for the game. And then yeah. if it's tough, like, like first run through on Dragon Age, that game was actually pretty hard. So if you, if you weren't using the right clay, if you weren't a Jedi, well, I mean, <laughs> so. it wasn't. It wasn't. I mean, there's this. The, I guess the the weirdest thing about Dragon Age was when I had to figure out I was playing Dragon Age and not other games. Yeah. Because there's this. It, it's not that it was overly complicated. It was just, well, what do you want me to do? Right. Right. It wasn't. There was this thing where I was trying to force it. I was like, yeah. "Oh well, I'm going to set up my classes and do these things this way." I'm like, "Nah, look at the look at the trees, man. Just do the math. Yeah, just do the math." Yeah. Well, I did that with The Witcher. Um, after, so I started game out playing it on like normal mode. Yeah. And then about halfway through the first map, it was like I'm ripping everything to pieces. And then it was like, okay, let me go back and do some math here and take a look at this and it was like so this plugs into that and you pull this off that gun and put it on this one (laughs) (laughs) kind of yeah I mean you do have to understand like the combat system and you do have to understand like uh, and once you get it it makes sense there are some people who look I'm not going to fight with them where they're like uh, I still find it kind of clunky there's too much wind up and stuff like that I'm like all right, I guess I can see that but it's not to me, it wasn't it wasn't that bad. Actually, when it clicked, I was like, okay, well, this makes sense. Yeah. I can I can play within these rules. Um, it's weird because it's uh, it is a combat game, but I don't know if I'd really call it a combat game. There's no. combat in it. It's kind of fun. I didn't mind the combat, but yeah. um, a lot well, of it is just playing the game, like yeah. just seeing where the story and the game takes you. <laughs> well, the story doesn't let like you get away with any bullshit, so it's just kind of fun. So, nope, not really. No, it's like I think I'm doing the right thing, and then five minutes later, you find out it's like, oh, they hung all those children. It's like, fucking thanks, game. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty lethal, man. <laughs> so you, you just learn after, I don't know, maybe like. I, maybe a few hours into the second map where it actually opens all the shit up that it's just like just go with your gut on shit because yeah. it's not going to work out <laughs> so yeah. at least you can go in with good intentions man but there's no saving the wasteland in this game <laughs> like I did in Fallout 4 where I was like no it's my job to protect everything well, I, I, you so, know, and, and this is this is the <coughs> this is the decision that I've made in any game that lets me make choices is, mm-hmm. is I'm not playing their characters choices right. I have to make the choice that I honestly would yep. were I in that scenario, and I have to live with it. Yep. Right? Oh, yeah. There's been no trips over to the IGN website on this one. I love uh, that. Well, yeah. there's there's that, and there's no, there's no like, 
Oh, big! This looks like a big choice. Let me save here and then try all three. No, I don't no. do that. So, although the game has busted me on that a couple times, where it's like, well, that's not what I meant, you know. So I thought, you know, just with the dialogue options, because of course it's all translated, and so it's kind of like, well, I thought that meant that I was going to be cool with you, but apparently we got to fight now. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's cut. It's not quite as bad as L.A. Noir. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where, where the one is like doubt, but that's just hammering on the fucking like psychosis button. <laughs> yeah, bad cop. It should have been good cop, bad cop buttons on that one. Yeah. More so. or less, yeah. 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 The the answers were absurd. The the way that they, they took that there. Because yeah. it's it's like doubt. Right? Right. And for me that version of doubt would would be like well, so you said you were at seven eleven at four o'clock PM. Right. It's like Okay, see so that's funny because your brother says right. he was playing NBA Jam with you at 4 p.m. <laughs> 1948. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I thought we were going to the way back yeah, machine yeah, with yeah. NBA Jam. <laughs> <laughs> so the, what I really need to know is, is he lying or you? Right. Right? So in their version, doubt is like, I don't know whose office you think you're sitting in, but your ass is going to be sitting in jail in two seconds yeah. if you don't start coughing yeah, exactly. up information. I'm going to throw you in with all the nice guys and the kitty rapers, you know. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, yeah. And he would say shit like that to like little kids and you know like yeah. grieving yeah. housewives, and you just never knew what was going to come out of his mouth when he hit that doubt button. Oh so, my god! Yeah. So the Witcher's not like that, but no. it has gotten me in a couple of places where I was like. Well, I didn't mean draw swords immediately, motherfucker. You know? So it doesn't like show what you would actually say. It just says it does, but that's the thing. Oh, is, yeah. Like, what about the LA one? Like, what, are you no. seriously that it no. would say you hit doubt and then you don't know the dialogue that idea. follows is yeah. is what happens. <laughs> you, you don't know. Yeah. So. All right, that's kind of funny. yeah. No, this one. I mean, it so it prints out like okay, this is what you're gonna say, but he doesn't ever say exactly what you think. What it says that you're gonna say. He paraphrases. Uh, he paraphrases. Uh, okay. Yeah. And so. Gotcha. Yeah. And then so, but then like I don't know. I think I'm probably about a halfway mark in the game right now because I'm stupid when I play these games. I just have to paint the map, you know, and find all the little things uh. and stuff. And this game is very unforgiving with that because you wander into places you do not belong. <laughs> yeah, this game will let you go up against shit that you're not supposed to. It is a triumph if you can beat it. Yeah. But some of those things... Mm, you were not meant to go there, huh? Well, it's got the little red skull sure or, or something. Yep. Same thing that Fallout 4 had. And when Fallout 4 had that, you learned to believe it. So in this game, I see things with red skulls. It's like, I think I can take you. And then you find out, actually, that was easy, and your red skull lied to me. Or you turn around, it's like, i got to come back here in about eight levels. Because <laughs> 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 that thing took two swipes at me, and I... <laughs> yeah, it was splayed like open, guts yeah, on the like a fish. Yeah, <laughs> and you could take him on. I mean, if you were, if you the 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 combat system was honest. If yep. you were, um, if you could get in there and you can do it, you could do it. But I mean, you were going to be there for a while, um, mm. and you would reap the rewards if you did, which I do yeah. like. Um, but other times, you're you're just. <laughs> I'll just put a little marker on my map. I'll come back for you, Mark. <laughs> right, yeah. Don't you forget it. Don't you forget it. <laughs> now this is me, of course, like licking my wounds and you know, uh, crying home to my woman or both. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, don't forget me, man. I'll be back I'll for be you. Back. Yeah. So no, so it's got its claws into me real deep. I mean, they're oh, just cool. They're just gonna have to work their way out over the next couple of weeks. So, yeah. Yeah. So, but yeah. Look, there's a lot of fun. To have. I played that game through twice, three times. Did you? I can't remember, yeah. 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 I hear it's got many, many different endings. So, because like, um, yeah, sort of. Yeah. Okay. Because Cyberpunk, like, I, you and I had different endings, but they weren't that different. You know. No, I had the really different ending the last time I played. So I hear tale that there's an ending where if when Johnny's confronting you on shit, you just sit there for a minute, and then eventually he'll let you just go Terminator on the place. Yeah, but there's it, you're talking about the means to the ending. Oh right? yeah, yeah. So there's a couple of different endings. You're just talking about the way that you do it. Right. Right. Um, and that all has to do with certain choices that you make. And and what what's so there's like two types of endings in games that you'll generally have is either like you finish game. And 
there's a main narrative thing that sorts itself out and mm -hmm. like Fallout and all these other things. What they do is they sort of give you like an Animal House kind of like prologue right. or epilogue, I should say, yeah. where at the end it'll go over the small details of the choices that you made where, um, all right, main conflict revolt resolved, then it goes through and says, well, the people of this town looked to prosper because of your actions when you recovered their grain. Then it'll go to the next thing and just say, these people did this, yeah. right? Um, whereas Cyberpunk was really like, you have this ending, this ending, or this ending. Yeah, it did. Yeah. yeah. So, I don't know. I think, like, last time I, I... So I did start a second playthrough on that a while ago, but I didn't, I didn't go all the way through it. <laughs> Oh, uh, because I got to that point in time where, you, okay, it's the last mission that you can do. So yeah. I, I scrubbed it all the way down to that point. I was like, eh. So let me let me talk to Jeff and see what he got. Because <laughs> yeah, I was kind of curious. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, because the one that I, I did, V completely took over my body. <sighs> and Well, no, Johnny took over V's body. And I know that you took the opposite path on that one. I was pissed. Yeah, no, I was like, fuck it, man. I'm going to go in Nirvana, up beyond the wall, and be a, a cyber ghost, whatever it is. And then I'll let Johnny take over this meat sack here. <laughs> yeah. No, because there's, there's, there's one part in the game where Keanu Reeves is like, hey, you know, in order to get this, you've got to let me borrow you for a little bit. Did you not let him do it? Well, he asked nicely, so I was like... Uh, <laughs> is that when he got you all drunk and shit? Yeah. Yes. So then he went on a fucking drunken rampage, and that's the thing, is, is like, you know, what are you going to do? Like, you have this kid who says, like, I'm mature, I'm mature, come on, let me watch the house, right? Um, you guys you don't need to babysit me, like, I don't need a sitter. And then you let him, like, do this, and he, like, burns the place down. And so, like, afterwards, I'm like, no! Fuck you! <laughs> yeah, like, what are you doing? Yeah. And so, yeah, I went right to the, the corporate goon lady, right? And oh. she's just she's just like, let me express to you in writing the sheer number of evils that are going to happen if you go my path and let me drag this out. I was just like, just tell me where to sign. Johnny's like, are you kidding me? I was like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> gone, you, man. gone, <laughs> gone, gone. <laughs> Fuck you. I gave you a chance. Uh -huh. right? <laughs> and he is. He's like, come on, bro. You know, it was like, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I gave you a shot. Yeah. And, you know, here's this cutscene of you like, I don't vomit. As a matter of fact, yeah. I, I, I went through that game. I, I did the whole thing where, yeah, it is kind of cool in the sense where they try to make these sort of choices where you're like, are these my choices or his choices, right? So they keep giving you opportunities to smoke and drink and right. that kind of stuff, which would more align you with, with his personality. and. Very much so. I was. I was like, no, I can't. I'm Mormon. Right? <laughs> so, uh, I'm You're LDS. Like Mormon v. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm LDS, man. Desert. It's like I can't. Yeah. So I, I avoided all those things, and then, uh, yeah, and then he took my body for a spin and put poison in it. And I'm like, what have you done? Never again. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, I was like, Johnny, I can't get into heaven now. Right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> what is this, a tattoo? You took, you took my planet away from yeah. me. Yeah. Frank, there is a part where you get a tattoo. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Johnny yeah. gets you a tattoo on your butt. Yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Like, now I can't be buried in a Jewish graveyard. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so no pine box for me. Yeah. <laughs> I was so pissed. Because <laughs> he does ask nicely. He's like, no, nah, I just I have to do this so I can go talk to her or whatever. And yeah, I trusted him. Right, and he's gonna like I got how many STDs in one night? Uh, you know? uh, yeah. <laughs> That's all yeah. of them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I got the full set. I got, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I got, I got all seven hundred cards and supplemental one and supplemental two and rookies <laughs> of the year and uh, Pokemon. You got to catch them all. <laughs> yeah, I got them. <laughs> yeah. No, see, I let them take over. Uh, it's like the ending that I got where you kind of helicopter into the building, like fucking Vietnam style, was actually pretty cool. So, uh, yeah. 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 I don't know if you did that one or not, but. I've done that one too. Oh, yeah. you have? Oh, yeah. okay. Because yeah. the other thing was, like, I did it the other way. Oh, yeah, so you don't even have that big fight at the end with Arasaka. Well, so I did. That's interesting. Well, I mean, I've had the, the different fights on it. The only thing was. Like, the last time around, I still kicked Johnny out, but it was one of the more labored decisions. It wasn't like, uh... Oh. Uh, I still had the choice at the end versus the, the part where 
when you do the other one, you wake up in this, you wake up on the fucking space station. Yeah, I've right? heard about that. I haven't seen that one, though. And that's where they, they took you to actually get that crap out of your head, right? The other one, it's, you come to some consensus where he's like, dude, can I stay or go? You know, you're right, you know, and... Uh, uh, I was like, nah, I'm going to hang on to this, right? I didn't go to, mm. you know, um, I don't know. Beyond the wall. Whatever it yeah, is. Yeah, there's like a cyber ice shit. wall. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's a weird game, man. But huh. it's spiritual Seattle or whatever. Yeah, right. it's right. fucking know. Right. Well, yeah, Judy actually does go to Seattle. She does, so yeah. does exist. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. So no, I, I, yeah. So I, I don't know, man. We'll see. So I hear The Witcher has like fifteen different fucking endings. So you know, I don't know. We'll see which one I get. So I've made some very bad choices already. <laughs> so, very very bad choices. Depends on what you mean by bad. I didn't know any of the lore really when I was playing it, and so then you know it's like, oh, I betrayed you. Sorry, man. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I didn't know you. That was your god. So, yeah. Oops, my bad. <laughs> So, <laughs> what are you talking about, like the different factions in there, or what? Yeah, I'm getting there, man. I'm in the thick of those right now. Okay. So, yeah. They tell me, we used to be friends, man. I used to have my back, blah, blah, blah. I was like, I don't fucking know you. Well, and, then I, <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and it's like, oh, you're in the second game? Didn't play it. Don't know. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. You're thinking of other packs. Wait, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, I have amnesia. <laughs> right. <laughs> Actually, but it does do the cool thing where... Um, to its, to its credit, and like a lot of games in, in series where you have decisions that are supposed to carry over, it does do a cool thing where they sort of ask you to straighten out the story. That, I did not know what was going on at that, so I was like, sure, option one, option one, option one, option one, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh. Okay, so. <laughs> and then so later on, it was like, I don't trust you anymore, man. I was like, I don't know you. So, but apparently I did. Well, I know, like, you know what, based on what I said, you're right not to. Right, exactly. Yeah. Pretty bad. So, yeah, I'm yeah. very unreliable. It was like, wait, you were my girlfriend? Really? I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. There's monsters in this. I There's shape changers, right? Uh, you know, yeah, there are. Yeah, there are. Right. So, yeah, it's definitely plausible. Time, yeah. It's not, but yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> you did it, <laughs> or you didn't. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, yeah. There is some stuff. I'm, 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 uh, I'm, I'm replaying the Mass Effect series, and there's a lot of that oh, stuff okay. in there too. Yeah. Uh, Do the new games just suck right now or something? That you guys no, go back no. to old games all the time? No. No, I just hadn't played this one all the way through. Mm. So, and it, it's been on my to do list, and since I didn't have that much to do this break, so I was like, all right, let me fire this up. But to be fair, it did take me a week to kind of get into it, and because I was kind of like, oh god, you know, dude, I want to put a. Another 150 hours into a fucking game right now. I was like, oh, 150 uh, hours easily. You can. So, well, yeah, yeah. I, I did the my first playthrough. I did it in like 60, and then I did it like 82. I, I'm not. I'm already yeah. over that, man. I'm not even halfway <laughs> through it, but that's how I play these games. I mean, I played fucking Dragon Age twice. I put like over like 300 fucking hours into Red Dead Two. So. Yeah, that's. Wow. I had to find all not, the things. I did not. Yeah. Well, no. I mean, that game just spoke to me on a special level. So. So is that like a month? A, yeah. A month. Yeah, that's about a good month of gameplay. So, you know, because I mean, I can rack that up. Well, I don't know. I would say that overall, like, I think the game that I have the most hours in is Skylines, and that's probably close to six or eight hundred. So, but that one's know, totally but different. So that's that's yeah. just chill, laid back. It's just it. chill, build shit, do a new city later, and so it counts for the same thing. It's not like you beat the game. So yeah, yeah, nobody wins skylines, <laughs> but you can lose skylines. You can definitely lose skylines if you connect the sewer to your water supply. <laughs> <You're sure? laughs> It's like, wait a minute, why are you guys? Why am I losing so much money? And then you look back because you're sitting here like fucking arranging trees in a park you know and then all of a sudden it's like wait a minute I don't need a loan why am I whoa shit I'm broke and then you zoom out and you realize everybody moved out because you're drinking poo right. <laughs> right. so that's happened to me yeah well it's happened to you too so, oh yeah yeah I mean if you if you visited like the city morgues at that point like <laughs> like if you look the, at the actual handbook at the morgues like it's got a picture of like somebody putting their foot in the trash can like no you you can't just like take it out when you think it's full you have to push it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah and you're just so, like, I don't have the money to fix this. Uh-uh. 
I'm ruined. Ruined. <laughs> so then you just burn the city, or you? Just... <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm not, I joke about it. It's like that is the one where you get indicted. That is the <laughs> one where you get <laughs> ruined. <laughs> 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 yeah, you're going to jail for this one. So I don't know. I've had it just make you down. drink the water, right? <laughs> <laughs> what fucking Babylonian world do you live in? <laughs> I, I don't know, man. He who breaks the law must go back to the house of pain. <laughs> It just seems fitting to me. I don't know. You make a whole city drink food water. Yeah, you, you gotta. And you've been drinking bottled water the whole time. Yeah, it's no, 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 no. The way that you, because that's the thing is, is they they get you. They're like, so, can you explain how uh, one hundred thousand citizens of uh, Patalonia managed to come down with with poo poisoning, right? <laughs> and you explain. It's like, well, you gotta understand. I was halfway across the map trying to get a road to overlap a bridge right. to overlap a an underground two layers underground railroad Wait, okay so how does it happen that the sewer water can like does that happen on its own oh I got a story for you <laughs> what? why don't you explain to Will how the poo ends up so <laughs> when you start the game you don't have a sewage treatment plant you have a pipe that goes okay. into a water source, and that's where the poo goes. All right? And you have to get water from somewhere. You have to get water from somewhere. And so one of the first lessons you learn in the game is not to put your water pump next to your poo pump, okay, or, or your outlet. All right? And so you learn that in the first, like, two hours of playing the game because invariably you do it because it's like, well, why do I need to wet, lay two pipes completely in opposite directions from each other? I can just have, you know, the water and the poo go in the same one. No. Because they're two separate pipes. There's a water pipe and there's a sewage pipe. Okay. Right? okay. And so you're like, okay, these things that will not sense. mix. Yep. But they do mix if you dump them in the same spot. <laughs> yeah. so, and to the game's credit, right? So when you're going to place the poo pipe in the suck pipe, right? It has little white arrows in the water that show you which way the stream is going. Yeah. Right? So you can suck in water here and poo down here. But if you pump out enough poo, it gets into the water. Okay. So, but, all right. So you learn that quickly. All right. I had a map once that had this meandering river that went all the way off map and then came back, and I didn't realize it was a great big hairpin thing. And so I was like, oh, cool, I've got two rivers on my map, so I'll dump the pool into this one because I want to build near this one. Okay. All right, it took years. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> but eventually the poo got all the way around and guess what was behind it? <laughs> Nothing but more poo. This city was fucked. <laughs> like like a two years worth of poo. <laughs> it was in the, it was in the other side of the river. And so I was like, all right, I'm gonna delete this one. <laughs> and that's when they put you on trial. <laughs> oh yeah, no, man. I was packing my bags the minute I realized what was going on, man. So because all of a sudden everything's like everybody's sick and I'm like what the fuck <laughs> and so I'm sitting here looking around it's like building like clinics and yeah. cemeteries <laughs> yeah, and yeah, yeah, so yeah. I was like what Every, nobody's getting any better what the fuck <laughs> so and it took me a little while to realize it was like oh wait a minute <laughs> Oh this yeah, be. It's like, well, I, I think I'm the first guy to figure this out, so I'm getting in the car now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. And if they ever fucking find you in Guatemala, you're gonna hang. They're not gonna find me. There's yeah. reporters out there. I deleted like, my chirp account. The streets they can't and find stuff. me. Yeah, <laughs> I'm thinking like fucking like city skylines dog the bounty hunter that comes and finds you and drags your ass back yeah. to. Yeah. Well, it was gone at that point. They had to bring me to the state or something. Right. Yeah. Right. So it was like trying to hide out in the Bahamas, but they found my crypto. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so so no, I put a lot of hours in those games yeah. too, man. But so have you, it's like same thing. Yeah, there's a couple others that we played. We played the shit out of Minecraft for a while. So we did, and and we honestly don't have remotely close to you know most people's Minecraft. Count. Oh Lord, no. Um, so there are people who have probably spent twice as much time on that god awful Roblox game. There are Roblox oh. is many games. Yeah, so it's not a single game. Um. 
I still have that Minecraft world we built, and you came and showed up and murdered all our fucking chickens. So That was weird. That was odd. It was like, William, what are you so doing? Was, the what? only thing I know how to do in Minecraft. Just smack things. It was like, we built this, man, you fucker. Yes. So, and then Jeff put swastikas all over it after a while. Yeah, I kept trying to get you in trouble, but it never, it never. The only thing that got us in trouble was that one time you tore down your fucking sign. The very first game. Oh, yeah, played. that's yeah. true. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, you can write stuff on signs, and then... Uh, yeah, of course, the first thing I try to write on it is whites only. You tried to like, segregate our bathrooms. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it, since it wouldn't accept it, I was like, Pat, the sign thing's broken. It's not taking what I wrote. Yeah. And you're like, try writing something else. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you actually posted the sign, and then it got taken down. Well, no, you, you, you write what you want on there, and I guess somebody looks at it. Right, because you write or what you want, yeah. and then it stays, and then it disappears. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because I remember you showed it to me. Yeah. Right, so, I wrote it, it disappeared, yeah. and it was like, "What the fuck?" Yeah. I, I hit the accept button. Like that. <laughs> 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 I did see the sign. Well, that's just his family name. <laughs> right, yeah. He's, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's Patrick Whites. Yeah, this is this is Walter White. Walter White, yeah. 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 <laughs> Maybe the apostrophe would have made a big difference, but I didn't see that option. I didn't see that either. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, so we played the fuck out of that, too. So. We did. I don't know. I've got some... And we didn't even... We didn't uh, even get in Age Empires that much. We played a few games, so... Or no, I think we only played one. I think we only, we only played two. Okay, you know, you're right, we played two. We played two. It got stuck with the Chinese. Uh, so. yeah. yeah, yeah. we played two. Um, you know, and, and here's the thing. we I don't know how many collective hours of, of Call of Duty we played, but it was a lot. A lot. Um, oh, I didn't even think about that. But I also know that <laughs> you and I, we never actually played World of Warcraft. We never played... So I'm no, the, the, the people. The people that have us lapped in terms of hours are probably those. Guys. Dude, my brother has taxable years in. Like, there you yeah. go. <laughs> <laughs> in World of Warcraft, man. So I think yeah. he counted it up once, and he was like, "Yeah." I mean, he got past the point in time where it was actually like more than having a forty-hour-a-week job in like one year. So. And then, wow. Yeah, and then I think he actually did hit the point in time where like how many hours are actually in a year. So, oh my god, something like he's played it so much, man. So, he's one of these guys who shows up on a server every now and then, and people are like, Oh, is that that guy? Yeah, so wow, does he still play a lot? He dabbles in it every now and then, but that game's been out since like what fucking 2003 or four or something like that. And he was there at the beginning, but I don't remember. I just remember the South Park episode. I never spent a single day in World of Warcraft, so. He tried to get me into it, and then I was like, nah, rah, 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 rah. I don't like playing with other people unless it's this guy. So, Yeah, my ex tried to get me to play a few times, and I'm just like, this is not me. <laughs> no. Well, Mike and Kevin went off and played it, and they were like, why don't you guys play it? And we're like, uh, no. Nah. Because I've lost friends over that shit now, you know? So and the same thing was true. Like I played a little bit of Lord of the Rings online with my brother. Just because it was like, oh, this one looks cool, but I turned into a tourist. So I was like, oh, I want to see the, the tower where these dead Frodo, and you know, I want to go into the mines and stuff. He's like, there's no. to meanest Tirith. Yeah, and he's like, well, there's no missions in there that you can do. I was like, I don't care. I'm going to fucking walk over there and then get murdered by something. Yeah. I was like, this is dumb. Never mind. <laughs> I don't want to play this. Because, yeah, it definitely, right when I would start off, I'm like, She's like, well, you need to have other people help with all this. And I'm like, no, no, no. Right. No, no, I don't, yeah, I no. Don't, this is not for me. I, you know, like, when we played, like, Star Wars Galaxies, I had fun playing it with you guys. Yeah. I would have fun playing any of these games with you guys. But there's right. this whole thing is, like, I don't want to play with townies. I don't want to meet new people. I would love playing with you guys, but are yeah. you kidding? Am I going to sit there, like... How am I going to get you guys to line up your schedules? Like, this is... Oh, fuck. It's so hard. Yeah. I mean, it's good that we can scrape out podcast time. So, <laughs> you know. Yep. But that's because we had to kind of book it. <laughs> you know? We did. Yeah. We did. And we're not ones to just, like, spine, you, know, spo you know, spontaneously just, like, should we record? No. If we don't actually set schedules for things, it we don't... It doesn't get done. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't get done. None of us are... Well, no. I wouldn't be opposed to setting up a game schedule, but... 
Like, I play games. Yeah, but we have to like pick the game. So and like, like the three of us used to play a shitload of Revolution. I'd play that again. So or what was that word game that we used to play? Quarrel. 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 That game was fun as shit. <laughs> so you know, but then like other things, it's just like yeah, or Civ. Right. Or something. See, like, Revolution was good because we could get a full game of that in in about two hours. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Well, like, well, I, even when you know, I used to play Call of Duty, we'd only play it for about an hour and a half or well, so. Sometimes. Sometimes you'd get mad or you'd be on a kill streak <laughs> and you'd just be in this zone and you'd be like, no, I want to go murder more 14 year olds. <laughs> so, you well, know. Well, it, it was kind of weird where. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah, we'd, we'd go for really long stints. Sometimes it was just like an hour. Um, oh, sometimes we'd play zombies for a couple hours. Sometimes, yeah, yeah. we'd play zombies for hours. And when you and I were like flat broke, we'd uh, oh, yeah. we'd play in the same room, which was, was actually kind of fun. It was kind of fun. I don't think I could play a shooter like that anymore, though. So no, I suck. No, my eyes aren't good enough to do that anymore. Yeah, well, we, we went. I gotta be up against the like, screen like yeah. this now. Man. <laughs> we talked about this. Yeah, that's what I was like, Pat. I just started raising the fonts on, <laughs> yeah. on my computer. Oh, and it was, yeah, yeah, I did that. Really? Yeah, I had to reinstall a bunch of shit the other day, and I was sitting there looking at. it. I was like, what the fuck is one? I was like, oh man, I gotta turn this back up to one fifty. <laughs> <You know>? uh-huh. <laughs> so, Good see shit, yeah, that's man. right. I was that we got we was you and, and far, and I was like, I got a confession to make, and and you guys were like, oh, Jeff, we've been doing that for years. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's right. Yeah. yeah, I have not. No, I know you. I, you're you, not wearing you glasses. Wear you're glasses, the, yeah. man. You're not even no. at the point in time like my. I, next time I go to the doctor, I know he's going to tell me to get some cheaters. So get some what? bifocals. Oh. So yeah, I know he's going to do it, man. So. He was like, we might want to think about it. Last time I went, I was like, oh, I won't be back for a while then. (laughs) (laughs) I just could never run and keep my trigger stable. (laughs) It was moving all over. Like, like I'm actually running. at the time, though? That might have been part of the problem. I I feel confident that it may have been. No, because I still, like, they have shooter games on Roblox, and I'll jump on Paint Gun Wars with... William and I cannot like he just runs and his trigger thing is just oh, see, lined so good up and I am just like whoosh, my aim goes up down all over I can't just like see the guy and just be like whoosh, oh see I, yeah like you got me hooked on Doom a while ago. yeah I was actually pretty good at that and that was super so, fun yeah. yeah I was just playing against the computer though basically yeah so I actually. I like these single player bands. It's like yeah, they're fun. Yeah. Well, you know why? Because they have a beginning and an end, and right. it's not. It is not this ongoing journey. Oh yeah, maybe I'll get my third star tonight. Yeah, you know, fuck that. I know. <laughs> and then what happens when you hit five star general and get, then you know graduate? You go back down to private. It's like fuck this game. <laughs> you do, <laughs> but, but that's the thing is you'd be on prestige two. You'd be on prestige. That's four. right. You'd be. Yeah. You know that was the. That was the marker. I can't remember how high we made it. Well, we stopped prestiging after a while. I was like, what's the point? Oh, yeah, I didn't want to lose all my guns. Because yeah. the, the only thing that you would do is you would get another slot, right? So after you prestiged, you would get another slot where you could make another class. Oh, that's right. Right? So ultimately, you could go to prestige five and have ten slots instead of five. But, it, yeah. Well, because the other thing was, it was just, well... Just change my gun. <laughs> well, because so we had like I had five slots. I played with three, and I don't right. mean that in a stupid way. It was just they had very set things. The only thing that would change is between the maps. I'm like, uh, well, I'm just going to switch this gun, but it's going to go with this class. Well, yeah, and then after a while, we would we, we would have a couple specialty classes. We weren't even using because we had cowboys only class. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Bro, so you, either get, you, get, you get the big iron or the pepper gun, man, and that's it. <laughs> when it came to that game, like <laughs> we're we're talking about Black Ops One, okay? At this point, well, if yeah. we were in the military, we were doing our our ten milers with cigarettes in our mouths, man. We were basically like multiple cigarettes. Yeah, we were like, we were monkey fucking them. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, when it came down to it, it was like this is up to us to make this fun, right? Right. 
Well, yeah, that's when you pull out the big iron and you bag a guy, like, halfway across the fucking map. Well, you, know? you it, saw me, because I had the fucking, like, deer hunter scope on that thing, and you're like... <laughs> you, you, like, walked over to me and just, like, whispered, and it's like, are pussy. you a pussy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, you, you took out your teeth and ripped it straight off there and said, you want to see how a man shoots these? <laughs> right, yeah. And then, uh, from about two miles away, you shot the dick off a squirrel, and uh, that was just... That was... <laughs> That was you in that game, man. You were like, anything that allows me to be from the old west, I right, respect. Yeah, I'm gonna be it. Yeah. And you saw me using that fucking that that pepper gun, and you're like, what is that? What is that? <laughs> it's a break open shotgun. I thought that was a toy. <laughs> you, <know? laughs> you did. You're like, yeah. can I see that? I'm like, here. <laughs> yeah. I don't. So like, I remember I had a cheater sniper class. Where I put that big ass scope on the fucking M14 because it didn't have the sniper like swirl. Yeah, the woo when you're trying to hold it steady. Yeah, oh yeah, that oh, push in yeah. the whole breath. And it's like, well, yeah. why would I do that when I could just put it on this thing and bag that guy <laughs> and then have nine more bullets follow him, you know? So. But then there was the other part where. Well, I'm just going to rip this thing off. and After a while, yeah. yeah you yeah. eventually just iron sight it because it's yeah. like, ah, this actually works better. <laughs> so, although I do remember keeping, like, like not the ACOG, but the, the, like, what was the, there was, like, the red dot and then there was another one. Well, yeah, there was, like, the iron sight. There was, uh, uh, in, in Black Ops? Yeah. There yeah, was another one. They had, yeah, there was the iron sight. There was, like, the ACOG and then there was, like, some other thing, but, um, I mean, Rectical or whatever, something like yeah. that. Yeah. Um, all the shit. holographic site. That's the one. Not that in I that liked. game. Oh no, you're right. That was in the later games. Yeah. But it was something similar. Yeah, it was. Something it was something similar, similar where you, you, you tell, you're like, dude, this is Vietnam. They didn't. <laughs> right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> what are you so, talking about? Yeah, they had a starlight scope, which is about the size of you know a fucking two liter coke. <laughs> 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 But thank God we Will played a lot. You played Modern Warfare with I, us, right? Yeah. Or was it Black Ops Two? Whichever. Who's the one with the airplanes that you threw with the paper airplanes that we used to throw at each other? Will was the remote control it. car guy. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. All right, so he was playing Black Ops. Yeah. Whatever room that was like in the '60s that had like oh. yep. mannequins or something like oh. that. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. That was that was Black Ops One. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That was honestly that's the one that we probably played. The most. I think we got the best at Modern Warfare 2, though. No, we, Modern we, Warfare 3 is the one that, where... That Jeff and I had to layer our air coverage. It was, at that point, it was like, uh, it's it's like you're at the casino. Right. And they're like, sir, you have to leave. <laughs> like, but I didn't cheat. You've won enough. You've won enough. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. We're not going to serve you anymore. It's like, I can't prove you're counting cards, and it's not illegal, but you have to go. <laughs> that one was so jacked up, because Jeff and I would start the game... We'd load up and be like, all right, what are you going to be your perks? It's like, am I taking vests today or are you you're going to drop vests? So, because that was like the first thing that you got on a kill streak. It was absurd. And so <clears throat> if we, one of us would take it and we'd stick kind of close to each other and we'd be like, boom, here you go, man. Have a vest. <laughs> well, it was, it, was, it was stupid because not only that, we were also playing multiple of us. That's why we ended up switching the classes was because we were we had enough vests to basically like uh, to like wall off a flood right because we could sit there and sandbag yeah. like because we were like you want vesties it's like do you vesties, want vesties that's right and you chuck these down we got like two stacks of these yeah. you can't take like another one of your own but yeah. you could grab another one so we got stacks of these things you take a couple of hits no worries. You just put another one slap on. another yeah. one on. And then you and I are sitting there stealth bombing every other 10 seconds. And right. Get out uh, of my airspace, Jeff. And then, so. well, at least the, the stealth bomb was fast. But then that's when I was like, hey, you know what? I got to go switch to the assault class or whatever it was. And then, yeah, you saw me like kind of like spidering in these missiles. And again, it was like, I want to try that. Like, oh, with the Reaper? Yeah. Yeah. And then eventually, like, you became, like, Reaper guy. I'm like, all right, I'll take the little ground robot. And, oh, yeah. and so the this thing you run around a machine. Yeah, I think you called it the kill. It. No, it wasn't the kill was The kill was a was, black It was, it was the kill bot. Yeah, yeah, or whatever. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> the flexo or whatever. <laughs> I have no idea. But 
Yeah, we ended up having to divide air and ground space. Yeah. Because I was trying to shoot down your helicopter. Yeah, I'm we like, learned that. Get out of airspace, you dork! Yeah, because you, you carry a law rocket with you. Or not, it was a stinger in that one, because it's like, dude... You, 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 you know, I, I'm, I'm sitting on a helicopter here, man. Yours has been up for five minutes. I'm going to shoot yours down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think the last one I played was when you got jetpacks. Yeah, Advanced Warfare. That I, I like that bit. one, actually. Yeah. But that one actually made me... That one, like, I know it happened to you later with Doom, but that game actually made me a little seasick. So... Oh, my God. Yeah. So, yeah. That that game Almost barfed on the grill. <laughs> barfed on the grill. Did we put we put that one in the machine, didn't we? Uh we tried, but it didn't I and I played with it later on. I could not get a satisfying image of barfing on the grill. I look back through our old list of episode titles. There are some great ones. <laughs> we need to try it. What'd you say? Machine. I can't remember, but like if I had the machine in front of me, I would pull a couple of them mm. up. There were a mm-hmm. few of them in there that were pretty good. And I was like, we've got to try that one. <laughs> so um, I can't remember though. We'll, we'll we'll leave it to the audience out there to go search through them and um, see which ones we decide to change. <laughs> so, I understand. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but no, I mean, I remember playing, like, we played the shit out of, we played a fuckload of Black Black Ops 2 as well, because that was we the did. one with Arrakis yeah. and, um... Uh, uh, well, no, that was, again, that was, that was Modern Warfare 3. That was with the, oh, no, you're right. Black, Black Ops 2, I want you to remember. That was the one with the train station, so... Black Ops 2, remember, there was one that was a big yacht, you played on this boat, this this big That one was so much fun. That uh-huh. was a great level. Uh-huh. So, yeah. Uh, there was... Uh, the train station in London. So... Yeah, yeah. Or was it in San Francisco or, like, West Coast, like, Maglev? Something like that. Yeah, uh, there was a really cool level. Um, I don't know, man. Like, all the ones on Black Ops 1 were really good, except for there were, like, two maps we used to skip all the time. Yeah, Radar Dish. Radar Dish. And, yeah. uh... Uh, the, whichever big ones. The, the, yeah, there was one with this this snow? like beach on the back. Oh, that's right. There and was a snow sucked. level that we. Well, that, that radar, radar dish was the big yeah, snow. Yeah. Was the snow one. There was a smaller snow one that was cool, <clears throat> right? Uh, I think we just called it gondola. Right. Yeah, we called it. We we had different names for all the fucking levels. <laughs> so cause rap hat, stupid rap hat. Yeah, that was one of my favorite levels. That was where I would bag people with the pistol. So from <laughs> forever. Yeah. Uh, there was rap hat. Yeah, there was, <laughs> was uh, a restaurant jo- in there called Rap Hat, right? Yeah, it was just a sign. It's uh, and I think it's I think it's Rafat or whatever, but it spells spells <laughs> rap, rap hat. hat. <laughs> um, there was giant saw blades. Giant saw blades. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, you remember giant saw blades? Yeah. There yeah. were giant saw blades. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then uh, there was there was one with the space launch on it. Yeah, it was. I think it was just called launch. I think we just called yeah, it was just launch. called launch. Yeah. I think that was the name of the map. There was <laughs> firing range. There was oh, that was that was one of my favorite maps ever. But there was Nuketown. Nuketown. Oh, oh never mind. Yeah. Never mind. They, they just got placed. <laughs> yeah, because I'm thinking like. So yeah, Firing Range was another good map, but it was a great map. That was one where I'd like to knife people in the towers. So that was, and you were holding an M60 at the time. I was holding an M60 at the time. He was out of bullets, so well, it was in between loads. We'll put yeah. it that way. Yeah. So I just hucked a knife at that dude instead. Yeah. Nuketown so. was by far my favorite. Nuketown, Nuketown was everybody. That's favorite. where you yeah. discovered the the beauty of the stoner. On that one. Oh, yeah. Jeff yeah. hiding out in the doorway, just machine gunning people across the map. <laughs> uh, come on. Well, yeah, and there was like this door that you just hit the right angle and you go in here. And um, I know which one you're talking about. Yeah. We, 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 we joked about this. There, there was a name for the spots, and they usually had a pejorative in front of them, yeah. and that's totally fine. Yeah. Now, William's doing the same thing right now with. <laughs> he's just sh- shooting through like windows like all the way across the thing and just names just keep popping up there oh time. yeah and I'm like dude there's, you can't even see that there's anyone there he's like you just shoot you just shoot you just shoot, shoot. Yeah. You just shoot, shoot. The they're gonna walk into it yeah. I'm like oh god you're doing that you would do that even on <laughs> you would do that on Newtown you knew the angle to launch your fucking noob tube so I was beginning. never that oh, like, anyway, I would, you, you pop two off and get a couple kills right away and, well okay yeah. yeah yeah I might just but I didn't know what I was doing oh 
Like, I would just throw them up and just hope. But oh, like, no. I didn't, didn't have shoot. strategy. <laughs> we well, didn't other than they were running around the side of the building or, or whatever that was. Oh, like, yeah. Defenses, but... Yeah. Well, I mean, there was like, there were several levels there where, like, I I just had one primary gun and I always run around with a law rocket, just because I knew which windows to shoot. And so if I was coming by it, I'd just be like, yeah, I'll throw a rocket up there, and half the time you get a kill. It was like, oh yeah. And we we call that something too. It's like, did you was a guy in the blank spot? And uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sometimes they were <laughs> right. <laughs> you would just we used to call them window blanks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you forgot about that, huh? Yeah. Ah, twenty twenty three. Twenty twenty three. Yeah. This is back in like what two thousand seven, man. It's, uh, it's like fifteen fucking years ago. We were doing this shit. So. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and we would leave maps when there were uh, team blanks in it. Yeah, too many team blanks. <laughs> yeah. It's like these guys are rolling as a squad and they suck. Yeah. So, but they're all rolling together, yep. so we're out of here. Yep. So, yeah. Even though we were on a team. Yeah, but we didn't use Los Tacticos. We, oh, Los Tacticos. we well, I didn't follow any tactics. These so. guys are like, clear, go, clear. <laughs> you know? Stay by, stay by. <laughs> Echelon left. We're like, what the fuck is that? You know, <laughs> definitely, definitely, yeah. definitely. We're like, what? What? It was like, just go up there and shoot him. You know. <laughs> it's like, nah. We got team blanks on this. Uh, we team- never hung out together in those mm. games. It was, it was. We we had our we used own to high five each other, man. Yeah, we had our own patrols. The yeah. whole thing was like, yeah, exactly. We we got a we got a, a dab it at uh, the halfway point. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I'd be like, hey, there's Jeff. So. It was like, hey, I hear the Jolson going off around the corner, man. <laughs> Jeff's coming. You know? <laughs> and then you just hang out every now and then. You see, like, Will, like, sandwiched between, like, two, like, oil barrels somewhere. Right. Where just, like, the tip of his gun is pointing out. <laughs> and you see him, and he's, like, he's like, <laughs> you know, yeah, he's just, Will already got yeah. those guys, man. So, like, no. Cool. There are bullets out there. Yeah, I ain't right. <laughs> I'm dead. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, you would, you would, you'd find... Uh, Will he'd be up in a hidey hole and, and yep. doing his thing, but yeah, you and I would just because we, we we couldn't go the same direction. Uh-huh. Like, you you jack my kills and I jack yours, and you'd be like motherfucker, I got that. Kid. And he's like, all right, man, well, I'm going this way. And <laughs> the problem was we could shoot each other, and oh yeah, <laughs> that's right. Which was the game that introduced the tag back? Modern Warfare 3, man. That, that you're was, right. That we was, hated uh, that. And then they changed it after a while back to the old way. And it was like, this is better. So Yeah. Well, they had to. Because yeah. people would... The, the problem is, uh, they would let people grief in there. So if you, oh, went right. into a, if you went into a corner, right, somebody would like grab a riot shield on your team and right. stomach you in there, right? I remember that. That was so annoying. <laughs> and the only thing that you could do is basically shoot the guy, kill yourself. Because he wanted your corner. Well, no, 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 because they were grieving you. Yeah. Because they're like, I'm just going to fuck with this guy, right? Yeah. Because now he has nothing he can do. He can't move. Can't move. He can only get out if he shoots me, and that will kill him. Yeah. Uh, and so they had to switch it back because they're like, well, this isn't... It wasn't fun. Dude, we, we sat through all the like fucking glitchy shit in all those games. Like I, I remember... Modern Warfare 2, where the guys did the javelin trick, and... Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so... Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Modern Warfare 2. I think that was the first one I got on board with because I never played World of War. So, yeah, I know you did. And I played Modern Warfare 1. I never played that one. It was so. just called Modern Warfare. Right. No, but I did get it on and Modern previous Warfare previous to that, they were called Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. Now, I did play all those. See, that's yeah, that's the dude, thing that's right, ironic yeah. is all the single-player games. I played the, I played the shit out of those. I bought all the expansion packs for it and everything. Um, still has one of my favorite levels ever. So uh, Pegasus Bridge in the very first one. It's great, great level. So I had a save game on an old PC for years that I would go back and play every now and then because it was literally I am fucked. And this, I got like four bullets to my name and a knife. And I Whoa. and there's like a hundred Germans coming my way and I would play that just to see if I could get out of it. And most of the time I couldn't, but every now and then. <laughs> it was like, all right, well, that guy's got a big gun, so let's stab him, grab his shit. <laughs> so, yeah. Did I remember in Fallout New Vegas, right, mm. there are these guys called Kaiser's Legion, mm-hmm. right? 
Um, and you're not so when when you first run into them, you are severely under leveled, mm -hmm. right? You are not supposed to fight them. <clears throat> so I got into a fight with them. And, uh, <laughs> Sounds like me and Super Mutants in another game. <laughs> well, well, here's the thing: is like they one or two shot at me, right? Mm -hmm. You're not supposed to fight them there, mm -hmm. right? So not accepting that, right? <laughs> the the scenario was this: so I'm like, all right, so I went, you know, I loaded, I'm like. I came up with a million fucking, like, uh, end of Predator 1 scenarios where I set up all these things. Mm. It's like, all right, so if I have all these explosive blah, blah, because you could shoot them, but it would do tiny amounts of damage, mm -hmm. right? And I found, like, explosives and all this other stuff and, like, kind of, like, glitched this corner. And uh, so I basically just sandwiched these guys into a, sp a spot where they couldn't get out. And threw landmines at them, <laughs> right? So it's, it's funny because I'm sitting there like, to me, right, ultimately it's like, if you call my cabinet, you got, you got those those plates that are just big enough for a hot dog. Oh, right. right. Right? And so it looks like I'm just throwing Frisbees at these guys over and over again, right? And after like 200 of these, they're dead. So much to the point where the game later on, one of the characters actually says... You're not supposed to be able to do that. <laughs> wow. Yeah. He, oh, he, wow. he actually says something like, you're not, it's like, you weren't, I don't know how you beat those guys. You're not supposed to. See, right? that's a really cool, like, thing if that's actually included in the game. It was. Code. I yeah. was I was shocked because I'm like, I know I broke this. I know this is the same stupid thing where, like, when I was playing fucking Oblivion, and I was like, right. if I shoot this arrow through this hole, like, the guard can't get me. I just, it's going to take me 90 of these. Yeah. <laughs> I've done the math. Because you know? I always do that in those games. Or yeah. I just find, like, how can I clip this jump or whatever? And that's how I ended up, like, on the city walls. You're yeah. not supposed to be there. Right. Their arrows can't get down there. Yours can. I don't know what to tell yeah. you. Um, but, yeah, so, yeah, they actually acknowledge that. That's really cool. Huh. So, see, and that's why, like, if it wasn't as old and, like... I don't know. They did a reskin on it, but I would actually consider playing Skyrim just to because I never played that one. So you should. I uh, you, did you play it? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, I didn't know that you had yeah. played that. One. I thought you skipped that one. So no, it's Oblivion that I'll never play again. Because, okay. Yeah. Fuck that game. Well, I don't know. I mean, like they keep saying that that Elder Scrolls Six is on the horizon. So. Yeah. But you said Star Citizen's coming out this year. Oh, I don't know when. I just know it's coming oh, out. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I, I didn't know if that was actually on the official list or not. So, I don't know. GTA 6 is going to drop this year, too. So. Is it? Yeah, that one's actually on the on the schedule. So. Man, I, I saw this clip where... Oh, <laughs> why? It was so funny. But there's this clip where, where Trevor is talking to, what was it, Franklin. And the game's glitched so that some dude just keeps, during the cutscene... Some dude just keeps roundhouse punching. Is it a construction worker? <laughs> <laughs> and he just keeps talking, and the dude just keeps coming up to him and just keeps just laying haymakers on him. Oh. And I don't know why it was so funny. It's just like, let you like that just kill me. I didn't show you that, but... Um. There's a couple of them in that game like that. There's like this one guy, you can get him on, it's like a follow me kind of quest. Mm. And if you turn and talk to him at the right spot, all right, he just holds his position there. So regardless of, oh. like, so he's following you. But if you do this on this, like, there's this one part. It's where that ski lift is. So the, the thing that takes you up to the top of the mountain. Okay, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So if you take him up there and talk to him, there's one part on that trail up there where if you turn around and talk to him, he'll go into a conversation with you. At that point in time, but as soon as he gets out of the conversation, because of the way that he actually orients with you, he's standing over a bottomless cliff. And so as soon as the cliff ends, he dies. <laughs> and you fail the mission. Yeah. So, there's all kinds of shit like that in that game. That game, I played the fuck out of that one too, man. Just because after a while, it was just like fun, just jacking around. It's absurd. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's just analogous enough to reality to the point where it's not so breaking that shit happens the way that it does. Yeah. But there's just, like, something to the fact that, like, 
the wind up on your your casual punch is so absurd. Where oh, it's great, you know. Oh, Gerald's got one that's almost just like that. If you strong attack somebody, yeah. it's like oh, it's like oh, hey man, that's the Franklin. You know? yeah. <laughs> so cool. Yeah. <laughs> No, I don't know, man. So there, there's a few to look forward to. So I wanted to knock The Witcher out before some of those other ones drop, because yeah. otherwise yeah. they'd probably drop off my radar again. So because like I can get like maybe one or two of those games in a year, maybe maybe three. So it's just it's so much like time. Um, and I just I, I do I get engrossed in it. Like right now I'm thinking about like what am I gonna yeah. do when I get home? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab a coke. I'm gonna load that <laughs> yeah, thing up. Yeah. So uh, it's just got its hooks into me, man. And games do that every now and then. So well, I get sucked in, but I mean I just I don't. <laughs> What's amazing is the sheer amount of endurance that we used to have, all of us, oh, where yeah. it was nothing for like huh, that's five hours. Oh, right? I can't do that anymore. Like I find myself like having a hard time like. Just sitting down to watch a whole football game or something. Yeah, I gotta get up. I gotta do something. I gotta go. Like uh, I watched the entire Sunday ticket. So uh, <laughs> it's, it's just total. like straight. Uh yeah. Oh okay. Great. You're and not I, doing anything else at the time. Uh, tell me you're not he, checking like fantasy numbers and stuff like that. Or yeah, I uh, do fantasy and all that stuff. Yeah. But I watch. Well, you have like actual money on it, right? Well, yeah. Well, okay. Well, that that's you might as well be in the fucking Vegas sports book. Yeah, that'd be fine. Uh, that'd be sweet. That'd so, be sweet. Dude, it's January and cold. I'd love to be in the Vegas sports book right about now. You go to the one at Bally's, there's a Sbarro right over there. Like the last Sbarro. one. Oh my god, come on. <laughs> like the last dude, one. Dude, still one in the fucking mall. Oh, what? So, no way. What? Sbarro? Yeah. There's not one still in the mall. I think there is. So. Well, I've never eaten there, so I don't know. Oh. Do you like bad pizza? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So like, I'm putting this in quotes, spaghetti. You know? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so it's it's no problem for me to. Oh, I, I okay. actually watch pregame stuff. Yeah, all the way through. <laughs> the end of Sunday night football. So, like, on Sunday, I did the same thing, but I don't sit there and just actively pay attention to it. It's like, I've got other things. Oh, okay. All right. See, yeah. I am glued to it. Yeah. No, I, I, yeah, my attention span or my butt span just just doesn't work that way anymore, man. I got to get up and do something or... Well, and I have the Sunday ticket, so I can just have it on the red zone. Yeah. So, there's not even a commercial break. Oh, see, yeah. No, that's dedication, man. I, yeah, I just... Like, like a three-hour movie for me now is broken up in the chunks, so I, I cannot do it. So Avatar could use the break. Yeah, yeah, that's what I hear. Yeah. Avatar would be a three... Did you see it? No. Oh. But judging by its runtime, that would be a three-and-a-half workout movie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. could easily... And, and there's definitely time for breaks in there where you... All right, well, I could, I could go do something. So, like... like you know, obviously, I can puff this thing inside the house, but there are movies where you don't feel bad not pausing to go take a cigarette break. It sounds like Avatar 2 might be one of those movies. You got time. It needs an actual yeah. intermission in it. <laughs> like Gettysburg? Yeah. yeah, like a 20 minute, you know, it's like, go piss now. So the line's going to be long. <laughs> the Godfather, yeah. yeah. I actually stop. You go outside and, like, discuss things with classy people. You actually went to the movies yeah. with a blazer on and a hat. Right. Yeah, let's go to the lobby. <laughs> no, no. Well, and there's very few points that if you did choose to miss that you'd be like, oh, no, what happened? Like, they do it, and then I think they kind of explain that they do it. So, like, even if you chose to go to the bathroom and you came back, they would tell you what you missed. So oh. it was... Well, <laughs> so one of, the, one of the better memories I have was... Uh, so I went with uh, uh, Patrick and the lawyer to go see Gravity on the IMAX, right? Oh, that was a great movie. Wow. Uh-huh. So, like, you you called me during that, um, and you were kind of, like, in a oh, drug and yeah. fit. Yeah. And, uh, like, it happens. Like, it, it's cool. I understand. It was one of those things, like, um, you got really mad at me, but at the time it was like, Yo, this has got to get out, right? Otherwise, like a can opener is going to go through like the front window. Like that's okay. Was that during yeah. the movie? Yeah. Oh. Because remember, um, I do recall you leaving that. Yeah. Yeah. So like the shit's going haywire, 
and and Will's tearing into me, and I come back into the movie, and she's crawling out of the water, right? <laughs> oh, and I kind of sat God. down, and I was like, oh, I guess she won gravity. <laughs> and, oh, that's right. <laughs> You did get a good chuckle out of the people over that one, yeah. yeah. That's right. And that wouldn't happen any other way. It's way funnier like this. Or like the last thing I remember was when they were. I think she was using like the fire hydrant to. Uh, you missed a lot of movie. I did. Yeah, <laughs> you missed a lot of movie. Oh, she made. She, she did it. Yeah. <laughs> she won gravity. Did you tell me you were watching a movie? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think he did. <laughs> so, otherwise, I would have been like, no, go. Well, right. see, that was a shorter movie, too. Yeah, that was, was a nice, juicy, like, right size movie. And so, you know, um, yeah, like Avatar, I don't know. I, I did hear that it's going to crust its its makeup. It's $2 billion or whatever they spent on yeah, it. Is it. They said it, it's at the um, break even point. Oh, is it already? I right. thought it was on track for like two more weeks or something. They said that yeah. at the one and a half billion park, it made its money back. Oh, okay. Wow. It had a weird statistic that I saw that its sales were actually as good in the second week as it was in the first. And that was apparently extremely rare for a movie. That's the same thing that happened with the first movie. Is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because that was the same thing. People kept going back. Oh, okay. Whereas most people, you... Like, see it once, and then maybe you see it well, with a friend later on. Yeah, because uh, after the first time, you go like, so how was it? It's like Black Panther 1. And, <laughs> and she won gravity. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like, was it cool? It's like, yeah, kind of. Like, he won, but those rhinos look dumb. And then, yeah, that's fine. You, you're, you're done. Sometimes, some movies, like... I know I used to have this back in the day more often where it was like, I'd see something with you. Right. And then I'd have a friend or a girlfriend or something that's like, I want to see that too. So you'd see the movie twice because somebody else wanted to do that. I would not even think about doing that now. Yeah. Right? Because I'm not sitting, I'm not like at this point, it's like, well, I went to go see Cars 4 by myself. And then. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have anything on that. <laughs> My cable was out. <laughs> the, the first Avatar, I could see that. The second one, like, I'm like... Well, because my understanding was, like, there were a lot of people where, like, I haven't seen a 3D movie like this. A lot of people said that was the first good 3D movie. What, the Avatar? Yeah. The first one. Yeah. Yeah. The first one, yeah. I don't think I saw that one in 3D. Really? I don't think I did. Wow. Yeah. I don't think I did. I think I saw that one twice. God, I'm trying to remember what movies I've seen in 3D. There's very few. I didn't see it until it was on cable. Oh, you, you didn't see Avatar? I did see In the that theater? No. Wow. No, no. I watched it on cable. I watched it on TNT. <laughs> <laughs> Commercials and all. Hey, so you got breaks. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I did. I did. I sure did. Wow. Yeah, I just no wasn't way. interested in it. It was. I'm sorry. It's. It's not. It wasn't that people weren't saying like you should go see this, but it's. It's the same thing where. Yeah, I get it. It just doesn't sound interesting to me. Yeah, I didn't really know what I was getting into, so when I went to go see it, but like to be fair, it was like when I saw it, it was a, several weeks after it had been released. Oh and yeah, so it was yeah. kind of like oh well, everybody's saying it's really awesome, blah blah blah. So let me go see it. Because what is that? That's like 2011, 2012, it's like 2009. No. Yeah. Oh. No, wait, the first Avatar? Yeah. I thought that was in college. No, it's not that old. I think it's twenty five years old. No, twenty five, no, something that like old. that. No. Yeah. No, I, I think yeah, I think it's like two thousand nine. So that that sounds about right. Because I was definitely married when I saw it. <laughs> so. Yeah, I think it was like two thousand nine or two thousand seven, something like really? that. Yeah. yeah. I could have swore I saw it in college, but maybe not. Because I think they said it's it's what thirteen years old, something like that. So yeah, oh nine plus thirteen. Yeah, that would be 2022. 20, yeah. Yeah. Because it just flipped over to 23. Yeah. Yeah. Something like, yeah. No, I think yeah, because right. there's yeah. no way that that came out before, like, The Dark Knight. No. Yes. No. I don't think, okay, you got the Google machine. We have three. So, yeah, have that's three. right. Google. Yeah. yeah. Pat so, and I just have to keep this keep party talking. going. Right, yeah. yeah. Pat, so, did Jamie look that up, man. <laughs> I think I'll just throw this out here. Yeah. Astrology is like. Well, you guys are right. 2009. Oh, man, you so, nailed it. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah. 
I thought I heard the number 13. That's why I was, like, coming back. I thought it was, like, 20 years old. Yeah. <sighs> so, astrology. Yeah. It's, like, phrenology of the universe. It is. Yeah. 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 I, I've never put any stock into that whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. So, my mom used to when I was a kid. But it was more so like fun. She would pull up your like in the in the in the paper uh-huh. on your birthday. It would yeah. print the big one. She would yeah. save that for me yeah. every year. Yeah. So that was about it. I had one girl straight up go. That's our why signs. I was thinking about this, yeah. Say it's too hard for us to have a relationship. Well, with, then that's definitely them. true. <laughs> <laughs> you bet it does. You bet it does. Gone. That made, you made this one easy. <laughs> so like, thanks wow. for not wasting my time. <laughs> Because we actually were having, like, stuff in common and all that kind of stuff, and then just <laughs> happened to look that up. She's like, oh, yeah, I looked that up, too, and it says we're, this is going to be way Did you too actually dumb. meet her, or is this just all online? Well, it was all online. We oh, hadn't okay. quite gotten to yeah. the Turns out she probably lives on the street right behind me. Oh, that's that's oh. A, that, that you definitely oh. dodged a bullet. <laughs> so it's like, I see your lights on. What's going on, man? Because she was so, just like, are you home? oh, I, I live... <laughs> Here and painting and all this kind of stuff, and she's like, "I live right where the the path comes out." I'm like, "That's like right behind." So me. you did not respond to, "Hey, that's like right behind me." Did you? <laughs> so. Yo, look out your window. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, man, that's yeah, that's that's like, thanks for not wasting my time. Yeah, so, man, that's, that's a, it's like, oh my god, really? She's cooking your rabbit for yeah. Dude, like, I've seen so many relationships break up over stupid shit. Astrology? Over the years. Oh, everything. Over at the bar. It's just like, you guys should have <laughs> talked about this about six months ago. So, before you moved in together. <laughs> you know? It's like three things, man. So, it's it's like astrology or religion, which Religion's are kind of the same thing. Yeah. So, if you're not on the same page about that, don't waste your time. So, the other one is money. So... That one every single time. It's whether just, you have it or whether you like to spend anything about that. So like you got to be on the same page about as money goes, you know, because otherwise it's fucking it's it's a waste of time. It's not going to work. So and then the last one is kids. So you know that one I understand. Oh, of course. Yeah. Well, I mean, all of them like you can make any of those three things work, but you're th- you're putting another die in your pool there that's going to come up zero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and and, and, and and you know you're not going to make the crit save on it, <laughs> <laughs> and it's just done so. And so like, and it's, it's I mean I've seen like so many of it's like three months in everything's going great blah 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 and then where's what's his butt you know what's going on with this well I guess he turned out to be Mormon I was like you didn't ask that earlier what the fuck so, <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's one of the important ones. <laughs> it, you'd think so, yeah, but, you know, yeah. It was a weird thing. Like, I know I know that's something that I've broached before, but, I mean, I also don't care, right? I don't care either, but those that care yeah, really care. Well, I mean, it's just the, the question of, like, how involved do you want me to get in this? Like, if you're going to ask, <laughs> did you go to a Wiccan wedding? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think, wait, yeah, yeah. Like, how do you not go to that? And be like, y'all bitches are corny. <laughs> like, nobody seriously believes this shit, right? Yeah. I'm sure some believe I'm sure some it. Some people do, but man, you guys got to be on the same page about that, because otherwise you show up like this guy. That relationship's done. It's like I thought you were joking. You no, because what wasn't it like? Did did you say like their ceremony was like to the four winds, and that was like the thing that Crom laughs at. <laughs> <laughs> And you didn't laugh? I, I don't know what's going on. There's nothing to, like, What's oh. Like same wedding where they're like, thank you for seeing our union. Please enjoy our pepperoni cubes. <laughs> <laughs> and that's your dinner. I like pepperoni cubes. Wasn't that the game? That, that, was that the one that made you wish the Bronco game? Yes. Because they had it on a Monday night because the venue was a lot cheaper. To Is have this the one you flew all the way to Boston? No. Oh, no. no, okay. That one, that one I don't blame them. 
Because they didn't, like, they didn't. You don't know the Red Sox would be playing in the oh, that's right. playoffs. Yeah, it was 04, yeah. wasn't it? Or was it 07? It had to be 04. <sighs> I, I think it was that first run. So I don't, I don't remember. Uh, yeah, exactly. that was too long ago to remember. So. I think it was 07. Was it 07? No, maybe. Yeah, it must have been 04. I thought it was 04. Yeah, it was 04. And yeah, that was why. Didn't you say like none of the, the wives or anything were mad because they're like. What do you want? The, uh, the bride was a little perturbed, but <laughs> but yeah, every guy. Well, and you also had a place that actually had a bar within the venue. Oh yeah, with TVs, like an actual bar, yeah. not like this thing they. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. A cart. <laughs> hey man, that's more yeah. common than having an actual full bar. So, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah most yeah. of those things, you know. But so, yeah, every every guy was just gone. watching the game. Yeah, yeah. it was just like. <laughs> Well, it's, I mean, you didn't know. It's not like looking at the Broncos' schedule and going, wow, all right, there's a Monday night game for the Broncos. The venue is really cheap here. Hmm, that's really weird. Well, yeah, at this point, too, like if, if you get the call and you're like, this happens on a Monday night when the Broncos are playing, you look, you're like, yeah, they're one and four right now. It's right this uh, time. It's I'm fine. Like, yeah, yeah, it's, it's fine. fine. Yeah, yeah. So far out of contention, it doesn't even matter. It sucks. Yeah. Now again, if if it, <laughs> if that happens, and it just so happens that they are on the streak of streaks, and they're like, they've won nine straight. You're going to the wedding by yourself. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like give them this check. It's for one hundred dollars, or I don't know. Maybe it's a yeah, the gift card. Just say this is this is my gift to them. It's a prepaid Visa gift card. Good anywhere where people accept Visa. Right. That, that was the non-alcohol Miss the Bronco game appetizer <laughs> for your meal, and then the person coming up and they're playing the music and saying, "Hey, kid, let's all get up and dance." And everyone just kind of stares and looks at each other. They pass out tambourines. <laughs> it's like we it's haven't been stick with all the bells attached to it. This know? is why you let people drink. Yeah. You get people to dance. Then <laughs> okay. can I? I know that you've said like you've made your your declarative that yes, it's rude. Would you still look at me funny for leaving that wedding? Not not during the service, but being like, <laughs> I don't think it's if you guys are. Right. I don't think the ser- like the the after thing. No, that's the reception. A, the, reception. No, okay. the reception's always optional, yeah. man. So you know, <laughs> it like, would be funny well, to I mean, walk I in, what's happening, yes. scope the place out, and you're like, <laughs> really? I, really? I actually give you a pass on that one. And too. you just literally like turn around and like. Do, do a lap around the room and then you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, if you right. do hey, show up, you, you hey, have hey, to hey, at least yeah. you know hey, congratulate yeah. them. Yeah. Here's your present, and yeah. then go on. Yeah. But yeah, if you walked in with president in hand, and then they're like, <laughs> yeah. nah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, pretty bad. yeah. That that one's definitely ten minutes of purgatory. So or whatever the Wiccan version of that is. So Yeah, I don't know. I don't I I haven't been to too many bad weddings, but there was like one How about long would, ones. I've been to very long ones. You're so Catholic, right? I've been to Catholic weddings. Yeah, They're very long. Ones. So yeah. Um, good parties though afterwards, I gotta be honest with that. So but then like there was one that I went to that was just kinda sad. So, like, it was um, someone in my wife's family, and I guess it was either the, they were really poor, and either the bride or the groom's dad insisted on hosting the wedding so they would save money, and it was at an old folks' home. Whoa! Yeah, it was, it was, so you're walking by people who are, like, drooling and stuff, you know, who have no Whoa. idea what's going on, and it was just like, oh, man. So that was one of those ones where it was like, was looking at Pam, I was like, we need to get out of here. Oh so, my gosh, I don't know how I'd handle that. I, I didn't do it. So we, we were just like, okay. You go first. No, no. We were like, <laughs> we were looking at the, at, so the groom was kind of like embarrassed. And so we were like, all right, we'll stay. And so, and, you know, it was Whoa. just one of those things where it was kind of like, okay. But there were a lot of people who were like, Let's wrap this mm. up, <laughs> you know. So because nobody wanted to break ranks, but everybody wanted fucking out of there. So. Oh my god! <clears throat> yeah, it was really awkward. So that was one of the. And wow. I mean, his dad was like a little bit, you know, along the dementia train. So he oh, was one. He was one foot god. on, <laughs> one oh, foot man. on the platform. You know. Okay. Well, at least 
And that one I'd be more tempted to stay because of the extenuating circumstances. That's the only reason. Uh, Otherwise, like, yeah. Hey, man, I know you. I know who your dad was. You know, that kind of thing. It's like, hey, yeah. I'm here to the end, man. It's fine. No, I've been to dry <laughs> weddings where it's like, okay, let's eat and roll. You know, kind of thing. <laughs> you know, kind of thing. It's like, yeah, we're going to get like four or five of us together. We're going to go over that bar over there. <laughs> <laughs> so I've done that a couple of times, man. But you stick around long enough. But they're like, oh, are you going to stay for the cake? You're like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> so you gotta roll. I gotta work tomorrow. So don't drive by the Applebee's later. <laughs> <laughs> so we've done that. At least put BYOB on there. <laughs> so like, yeah, yeah. Well, sometimes it's religious things. So yeah. like one of them that I went to it was legit. Like you know, it was like no, we're all two totalers here, and you, you heathen over there. You know, so I was like, well, we're going to gather up the heathen and leave now. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we're good. So you better throw that thing. And, you My know, skin do, is do starting to get uh, hot yeah, and burn yeah, its ears. So. <laughs> so, but, no. Uh, and you can do that other ways, too. I mean, like, if, if they were just like, look, you know, we don't have a whole ton of money to spend. It's like, we're just going to do a neat little outdoor ceremony. It's like, cool, no problem. I've been to several of those that are great. No problem. So, in fact, the last one I went to was fantastic like that because they actually got married at Palmer Park. So There you go. Yeah. yeah. Just, yeah. It, was, it was, the whole thing was a hike kind of thing. And it was really fucking just nice. So, yeah. it was like, oh, okay. So, you know, after it was done, they got married up on top of the hill and the overlook and stuff like that. And they were like, okay. Um, so we're going to have a few beers in the parking lot and then That's we're, we're going to yeah. roll over here. Anybody who wants to come over here is welcome. And we're like, cool. So that works. And then I've had like, that was the last one I went to. And the one before that was almost the same. It was up in, um, black forest at this like wedding compound, you know, where they, they I don't think I was uh, there. Yeah. One so my ex is friends got married there yeah but it was a really cool setup you know and it was like outdoors and stuff and then you know it was after that it was taco bar buffet kind of thing and they said well well, the rest of us are going to hang out here and do you know karaoke and stuff like that but you know they were bam 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 quick all the way through and so it was like 45 minutes and done and then maybe half an hour for the reception and then after that it was like yeah, okay, we're done, you know, but we're going to hang out here for a while. Fantastic, yeah. Yeah, it was it was really well. I'll I mean, grab a few more of those tacos, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, to be fair, I mean, they, the people who did that one, they kind of knew what they were doing in terms of food. <laughs> and so, yeah. yeah, they were like, you know, pick out your own shit. You know, there's no plated menus and stuff like that. Right, so, right. It was it was really nicely done. So I've been in a couple of really good ones like that. So, but I mean, I don't know. I kind of like the fancy formal ones too. I've been to a few of those. So yeah, but with how much they are, they're so expensive. Rude that ever yeah. again? Dude, oh, I would never do it again. So if if I if it ever occurred to me to get married again, I wouldn't. <laughs> so, uh, that shit like yeah, I, I, I'd, I'd like, get married again, but I, I, I would not, not I'm, pay what I did. Dude, you live out east, you're expected to spend a minimum fifty thousand. Yeah, and that's on absolutely. the cheap end. And that's on the cheap end. Yeah, yeah no. that's insane. Like right? yeah. for one night. No. Well, especially like because it is like, why don't we all just like go to Las Vegas for two days and like we'll go have fun. We'll get married like, I don't know, day before we leave. Yeah. And uh, well, definitely if it's if it's your second, her second, absolutely. So you know, absolutely, just go have fun. Destination for it. Yep, yeah. destination for Anybody that wants yeah. to come, it's a vacation. Yeah, we're yeah. gonna go do it. If you don't come, I'm gonna stay yeah, for three it's... days. You can stay for one. You know, you can, you know, whatever. Yeah. yeah. So I've seen people do that, um, where they go a little bit overboard with that, and then it becomes a peer pressure thing. You just, oh. Are you gonna be there? Are you gonna be there? And it's like, bro, like you know, no, I'm broke. And so I've seen people do it where they do split weddings like that, where it's like, okay, we're going to have a ceremony here, but then we're going to party in Vegas for like three days. Oh, so, okay. yeah. yeah. And so then they do too. like one of those little ones where it's like, oh, okay, we're going to do this at a little chapel or something like that. Yeah. And then we'll, you know, hit the bar afterwards or something. But then, you know, the party's actually over here and don't feel any pressure to come. You know, kind of things. Because I, I, I've seen some people like 
go completely overboard on that shit. And it's like, oh, we're going to do it on this week and this day and this location in California, you know, where hotels are fucking $900 oh, yeah, a yeah. night. Yeah. And it's like, are you coming? It's like, no. And it was like, were well, you going to miss my special day? It's like, yeah. Sure, <laughs> yeah. sure that, am. That's, yeah. Why, that's why I would do something like that. Is be yeah. like, no, we're just going to have a small thing. Yeah. Anybody wants to come and have a vacation, come right. have a vacation. Right, yeah. right. Our day is there as well. <laughs> like, yeah, you do your thing. <laughs> We're getting married at seven. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The ceremony be over by seven fifteen. We're back out on the floor. Come if you want. Bottom line is we're gonna be married when that's all over and, and done. Then we can love vacation to together right. the rest of the yeah. time or do whatever right. and all yeah. those kind of things. But yeah. Because that'd be that'd be kind of a that'd fun great. thing to just yeah. be like, hey, we're going on a cool vacation, and yeah, or anybody else wants to come, we'll be there. We're getting married, and and don't don't come if you believe me, it ain't hurting my feelings. And I understand, like with those those East Coast weddings, I also understand that that's also you are spending fifty thousand dollars, but it's also. Because you're doing this, you're having hundreds of guests there, Ugh. and it's a money exchange yeah. because on top of that, if you're a family member, you shell out, and you pay cash. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. You pay cash for when a kid graduates. You pay cash for when a kid does his, uh, what is it, uh, communion? No, not communion. Uh, confirmation. confirmation. Confirmation, or if you're Jewish, yeah, uh, bar, bar mitzvah, yeah. right? And you're basically trading the same 500 bucks back and forward. For their kids, your kids, you go to all things. So, like, yeah, I get it's expensive, but you walk off with thousands of dollars, right, from your relatives because you gave it to them and that kind of thing. Whereas out here, it's like, we have relatives, but it's not... It's not the same. Yeah. It's not the same. Not everybody's expected to go. So. No, no. <clears throat> yeah. No, I, I, I'd probably say the last four or five that I've been to have been pretty small, like less than... Less than thirty people, kind of things. So yeah, yeah. <clears throat> it's been a while since I've been to a really big one. So I, I mean, I've been to a couple of really big ones. So you know, where it's like princess, like horses and carriages and shit. Shit, and I like, oh remember. man, I've been to a couple wow. of those there, and it's like, oh man, like so. <laughs> this is a multiple course meal. Ooh. Fucking sweet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've been to a couple of those. Could have just so. bought a house, like your house down in cash. Payment. Yeah. Yeah, to be fair, one of these, one of those ones, they were didn't care. No, they were pretty. It was like, Dad, don't worry about it. In fact, it was like, Oh yeah, we're going on like a six week cruise after this. It was like, Okay, right. here's your toaster. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> it'll be in the box still when you get back. Yeah, that's box. true. It's like, <laughs> Look, I, I, I was gonna get you the one with four slots, but that was too expensive. So. Yeah. yeah. No, I don't think I'd ever get married again. I would, I would batch it out to the end, though. <laughs> so batch it out. Yeah. Just, oh, batch. Oh, oh okay. absolutely. No, oh, you're. So the idea of actually being able to arrange the things in my house the way that I want them. So. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> It's like TV goes over here now. <laughs> yeah. I always had that power. Yeah, I don't have that power. That's been vetoed. I I, I ceded that power. That was one over two the, decades. That's ago. one of the ground rule <laughs> thing for me. So. See, you got to make that known up front, man. So but, yeah. Well, when you walk into a house with max three people right now with seven TVs, I think it's kind of uh, should be pretty obvious. But you might want to make that one a little bit more clear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Where the super TV is in the bedroom. Right. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't pay. I don't think I could do TV in the bedroom. No. So, uh, I, I, yeah, I think or I in the dining room. TV. Or in the dining room? Nope. Why not? What? What? what you, see, my family never eats together. We talk in the dining room. No. No, no, no. Uh, no, no. And what house dress. were you growing yeah, up in? Yeah, no, and man. we dress. And we dress. Yeah, <laughs> you don't have the little thing there, <laughs> but there was a TV. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. It was awesome, fantastic. Yeah. Well, first and foremost, all right. So, of all like the students and all the people that I have, number one, that's a moot point because frankly, nobody eats together at this point, right? So Our families do. Well, some do, but yeah. I mean, like compared to like when we were young, no. oh, dinner yeah, was yeah. five, everybody was at the table, and even if you were watching the news, right, 
Um, that's fine. But yeah, a lot of these places, a lot of the kids, a lot of people I know, nobody eats together. Yeah, yeah. no, we don't. Yeah. You so. Know? so that's a moot point. I don't care if the TV's in there. If, if what difference does it make? Like, if, if I'm sitting there eating my oops all berries, you know, and they're by myself, yeah, I'm gonna watch TV. I don't give a fuck. But if you know, if I. <laughs> Lippy does That's for dinner. <laughs> yeah, that's for breakfast, though. Yeah. We do eat all together. I just make three different meals. That's fine. No, that's fine. If you want to be, like, an executive chef, help yourself. I but... am not a short order cook. I cook <laughs> <Yeah>. one thing. <laughs> Other than that, yeah, it's child. You go fend for yourself. And so she's right. an expert at making corn dogs. So, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> Yeah. But we will have sometimes we have the TV off. Like when I when I'm working and I get home and then I make all their food and it's like seven, then it's like, all right, everything off for the ten minutes that we're gonna eat so I can actually find out what you guys did today. And that's the thing, man. That's just like working with these kids and stuff. Like these that's the the reason why I've come to the conclusion like shit, like no T V because a lot of these kids, man, they're just they never talk to their parents. I'm like, they're working with me because they never talk to their parents. Yeah, you, you got... You, you, you I have a bias set. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm thinking. You know, because, like, the idea of hiring a tutor for my daughter is... I, I don't, well, for you, Yeah, absurd. exactly. Yes. Yeah, it's crazy. It's like, the other night she was actually struggling with math, and I was doing that... that thing for full metal jacket where you tap her on the back of the head until she gets it. So, kind of thing. <laughs> Dad. so it was an easy round. So I was like twenty four divided by eight. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Twenty four divided by eight. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Did you do that three? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you know? Dad, do you, I don't need any more help. I was like, I didn't think so. <laughs> do you still okay, do you still stay at the, the, the classic way? It's like, no no no. How many times does eight go into I do. Yeah. Yeah. No. So well then, and she doesn't get asked like, well, what times three or well, what times eight equals twenty four? Oh, well, three. Okay, all right, same thing. You oh. Got it. Yeah. So, but anyway. And then you draw the thing, and it's like, well, how do you do this? So, well, okay, so you take it like this. If, if it's you know multiplication, then you do this. Top dog goes in the dog oh, house. Oh yeah, I did that before. She doesn't get that. Oh. So, but. You know, it's interesting. She's learning algebra so much earlier than we did. So, and she just mm. doesn't have a basic grasp of multiplication table because they don't drill on it, at least not in her school. Oh. So, yeah. and it's like, you know, that's fine. I don't, I don't care. So, give it two more years, you're going to have a calculator anyway. It'll be fine. <laughs> so, you know, so like, I mean, I'm very agnostic on like the whole cursive thing. It's like, it's useless, whatever. So, I get it. It looks pretty and stuff like that, but. Whatever, your handwriting's atrocious anyway. Well, this it is looks the, like cursive. This is the thing. Even though it's not. <laughs> I don't care if they teach cursive. Yeah. If they actually do spend time on penmanship. They don't. They don't. That's, they don't. that's the thing. The it's, penmanship's it's, terrible. I don't think they even do that in grade school, and that was where oh. penmanship was brought up. So, like, I think the, the, you remember the line paper? Oh, yeah. So they, they stopped using that now. Yeah. So I don't th- I don't think I've seen a piece of that, that with the big... With the half with the, dash, with the half way. dash, yeah, the 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 two way road. I haven't seen two-way one of those road, since like yeah. third grade, at least in her education. So they they focus so much more on, like, honestly, it's not even penmanship, but they just focus so much more on like different ways of teaching math and stuff like that now, so that you kind of intuitively get it a little bit better rather than just rote memorization. The same yeah. thing's true with penmanship. So they're just like, it'll improve over time with practice. So, but then you're like, oh, here's your laptop. So write your paper. You're never going to write it. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and the, the funny thing is my daughter can't type or shit. So, yeah, you know, so, mind. so yeah. yeah, even with a laptop, it's like she's sitting there like typing like my Unfair. dad. Yep. Yeah. And it's yeah. like, oh, okay. So, you know, well, I guess like, okay, I didn't use anything that had a keyboard on it until I was in probably ninth grade. You'll so, get it. you know, you'll get it. So you'll figure it out. So hey, I couldn't type until I took Mr. Kuniko's typing class. I get yeah, me neither. Yeah. So yeah, I had the same dude. So on the typewriters. <laughs> so and I don't know if for sure that's when I became a man, but it was close. <laughs> it was close. Yeah, because he wasn't fucking around. He's like, no, put the paper over your hands. Don't look at the keyboard. Yeah, exactly. What if you make mistakes? Then you make mistakes. Then you make mistakes, and they get marked off. <laughs> yeah. Well, I have to beam about my kid. He made the honor roll. Oh, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Oh, we get to go see the ceremony next week, so. 
So that's, I don't know how you have an honor roll after one quarter. Well, it's not from the fall. Semester. Well, it's from the fall, but oh, I was like, yeah. wow, you guys already throw out the honor roll? All right, cool. Yeah. Nice. So yeah. do they get something free at, like, Pizza Hut? For, <laughs> right. for reading books. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. remember? <laughs> You're yeah, a person of pizza. Those, pizza. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, with the fucking big red cups. I would read books during the summer because of it. Oh, yeah. 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 That was the, what was it, the Book It Club? Well, because our parents weren't going to buy us pizza. No, that's weird. But, I mean... We got the Chef Boyardee build it yourself in a box pizza. I love that stuff. <laughs> I love that. Don't fuck around, man. I love that stuff. Um, yeah, and, and on First your time birthday. We got the, soup, the pizzas was like when the Broncos lost the Super Bowl to the 49ers. Oh, the oh first, like, gosh. order pizza? Yeah. Yeah, Pizza Man pizza? Yeah. yeah. Pizza Man pizza. Actually yeah. delivered to the house? Like, yeah. <gasps> I'm in the fridge right now. Oh, God, my dad. I was yeah. in the mood. That was like once a week at our house. Dad get home, and we're like, I don't want a pizza. So. <laughs> no, man, that was so on your birthday. You got to go to Shoney's and um, get your dessert. Well, I mean, we always went to the soup, salad, and fruit bar, anyway. And I wish I could remember the name of it, but there was this crap that they would serve there that it was basically like Jello mixed with like marshmallows or something. Yeah, I don't know what it's actually called. But I would eat plates of that stuff. <laughs> plates of that stuff. Yeah, my mother-in-law makes that still. Like Shoney style or no? I don't like. Does she make it good? Because if it's good, then I don't want it. I want it to be like the cafeteria. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's made for the thousands. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember going to Shoney's that much as a kid. It was not one of my dad's favorite places. Probably so. not. He wasn't from Ohio. No, I mean he wasn't that picky on places too. But we would only go out like well more often than you guys did because we go out about once a week. But then there was like a rotation of restaurants that my dad dad approved, yeah. so to speak. You know, Perkins. No, oh, no. This was way before Perkins was even a thing here. I think we used to go to a place called JoJo's. So Coco's. So it's oh Coco's. Yeah, it was uh, used to. It was JoJo's before that. Uh, it was a big grease spoon. So, but it was like a pre-family diner before first cafeteria was a thing. Uh, so were you all going to Ponderosa Steakhouse? No, he did not like Ponderosa okay. Steakhouse. If he wanted to go to a steakhouse like the that Black was, Anus. We would go to Black Angus, but that was only on special occasions because that was expensive. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So, but no, most of the time it was Italian food and Mexican food. Um, oh, you go to Pepe's? We used to go to Pepe's all the time. So, still exists. It's up in Monument now. Yeah. Um, but then um, it would rotate between Rocco's and Bambino's. So for Oh, time. okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, there was another one that was on the list that we used to go to all the time. Fud Ruckers? We used to go to Fud Ruckers. So, not very often because my mom didn't like it that much, but my dad loved it. So, he just I can see slather everything would. in cheese. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, I can see your mom be like, I'm a classy woman, Jim. Don't take me No, here. it was. My mom doesn't like, she doesn't like hamburgers that are undercooked. And so, their, their hamburgers are always undercooked. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah. Didn't that kill people? <laughs> Yeah, I think that's where they closed. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, I remember because uh, I remember there were there were three big scandals with food back in the day. It was I think Fud Rutgers killed somebody. Jack in the Box. Jack, Jack in the Box, box. and uh, Taco John's was putting dog food in there. In their oh, yeah, they were. I thought it was Taco Bell. No, no. It was Taco John's. <laughs> yeah. Taco Bell puts quote unquote meat filler. Right. So, they yeah. never claimed. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, those were the three I remember, except for. You spelled beef with an I. <laughs> 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 no, there was one other thing. I can't remember what, what it was, but something happened at the Dunkin' Donuts over there on uh, Academy. And I think it was jizz related. I can't remember. Yeah, was it was. The glaze was not gross. Glaze. Yeah, yeah, I remember there was some kind of like really gross accusation. That was long after we stopped going there, though. Oh, yeah. 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 So, yeah. But yeah, no, there was. But that was. I don't think that ever made the news either. 
Wasn't I'm there a was. finger in? That was Wendy's. That was Wendy's. In Wendy's. Yeah. Uh, yeah, chili yeah. Or something? Yes. 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 Chili. Yeah. Yeah, because I remember that. Because in, in high school, you'd go to Wendy's uh, like a chili, hold the finger. Right. <laughs> no, we went to Poverty Burger. <laughs> we went to Poverty Burger. Could you explain, yeah. just for a moment, for, for that moment of time, what is the Poverty Burger, guys? What was it I know. The hamburger, stand. hamburger stand. That's right. It was the uh, hamburger stand. Not just stand. the hamburger stand. It had a price in front of it. Well, 29 cent hamburger yeah, stand. Oh, right. yeah, you're right. Yeah. I literally just told my son go over there and get a sack of burgers for like two dollars. Yeah. So, so man, it, you know, Dad actually liked that. I liked that place too. I thought it was they just fine. Yeah. yeah. So they actually had a really good quarter pounder that was only a buck. Yeah. So yeah. And the fact that it's called it's like was the price working against? No, it? we I called mean, it poverty. I know that's. They, yeah. that's <laughs> This is before Twitter, Jeff. <laughs> it was actually me. It's a poverty burger. Wait, you're writing that on like the bank loan? And, like, <laughs> what do you call it? We call it poverty burger because it was so fucking cheap. I remember going there, like, and this is even when I was working. So, like, $10 would feed you all week. At that point. Oh, yeah. right. Yeah, because yeah. right. it was like, I remember you could walk out of there with like a quarter pounder, an extra cheeseburger, and a fry for like under $2. So, yeah. And then it was later we go to McDonald's, so which was like double. Yeah. So when we were short on cash, we'd be like, now nah, let's go to Poverty Burger, dude. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> that wasn't a local place, was it? I don't think so. I was think it was a, actually a chain because there was another one over by that Starbucks you and I used to go to with the right, sewer right. stink next to it. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, that was just called McDonald's, man. That's was it. There, was it their dumpsters? I thought we were literally sitting <laughs> on a sewer grate. Yeah, I don't know. The smell seemed to be coming from that McDonald's. I remember they renovated that whole thing. Yeah. You know, that Starbucks actually made the news like six months ago or so. Why? Did they kill a guy? No, they tried to unionize. So That one did? That one did. Oh, wow. Yeah. So did, did they succeed? I doubt it, but I don't know. <laughs> so I didn't exactly follow up. I was like, you fucking chumps, you're going to be in a union now, idiots. <laughs> Some of them have done it. Some of them haven't. So Yeah, it's... it's a, Welcome to the world of seniority, man. Well, it's, so so yeah. much for your weekends off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's on night shift? We got here last. We got here last. Uh, yeah. God, I see so much of that shit on my news feeds lately. It's like, oh, this is going to be the year of unions and stuff. I was like, no, it's not. <laughs> so I'm not going to sit here and work on night shift when I can go across the street and make $2 an hour more. So fuck <laughs> with that. <laughs> so, you think I'm going to work here for the next 20 years just so I can get a weekend off? Because <laughs> that's how that shit works, man. Yeah, at the same time, remember, like, because that was the thing. You're talking about, like, Poverty Burger. Hmm. That was the time. Not that Taco Bell is really inexpensive now, but Taco Bell used to be dirt-ass cheap oh, back then. Oh, yeah. So. You remember the 29-cent menu? Yes. So, yeah. Yes. That's where the tacos were. <laughs> so. Yes. But there was... Well, I'm trying to remember. What was... In that same area, right? So you're talking about basically the row there where it's Little Kaisar's down to the CD Warehouse to Poverty Burger to all the way down to Taco Bell. CD that, Warehouse? Yeah, there was a shop over there called the CD Warehouse over where they sold these. Uh, further down. Basically okay. where uh, uh, next to, kind of near that Blockbuster if I recall, but... Um, but there was also one place in there where they sold hot dogs. Really expensive Chicago style hot dogs. Oh yeah. That was I, a I while can't remember ago. what it was called. That, that that was after high school for me. So, was it? Was I, I know which place you're talking about. Yeah, they used to do that fucking split bun kind of uh-huh. like yeah, and they would load them down. I remember that. Yeah. Hey, it's Chicago something or something like that. I can't remember. It's just the last it's place it. I'm trying to think of that I can't remember the name of. Well, and it's too. It wasn't the neighborhood to put a place that was going to charge you three dollars for a hot dog. That's for sure. I was more so, than that. Yeah, I know. Yeah. They got the Wiener Schnitzel over there now. So. Oh yeah. Yeah, I haven't tried that. So I remember that like from back east when like 
They were in like Michigan and Chicago area. Well, it was just called Dare Wiener Schnitzel, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I want to go back and try that. Oh, they're in, uh, yeah, they're in uh, California too. Oh, okay. Well, maybe it was in California because I tried it once. It was really good. So nothing wrong with it. I just I hadn't remembered it in a long time. That's okay. Uh, I don't really eat out at all anymore, man. I got so. pizza. Yeah, no, I'm. Good. <laughs> it was free. Free How'd pizza. You get free. Yeah. I had a coupon. Oh. A digital coupon. No, no, you just order it through the, the website. You just tip. It's fine. Oh, so you had ordered enough pizzas to actually earn a free. I had a pizza left over. No, okay. Yeah. I think I got one. In there. It was great. It's been a long yeah. time since I've had a pizza. Not me. <laughs> no? No, I had pizza the other night. I'm good for a while. Pizza today. Yeah, pizza today. Okay, well, <laughs> I don't feel so special anymore. Oh my yeah. god, this was like my birthday and Christmas present. Right. So, well, mom thought Little Caesars is just the greatest ever. So, oh my god. <laughs> Since Livy ate Little Caesars, she's just like, this is the best. I'm like, well, all right, we can get some more Little Caesars. <laughs> yeah, it's not exactly yeah. rare. Oh, the Little Caesars. Yeah. It's yeah. like the, the Little Caesars, Caesars truck is in town. Fucking get your coat. You know? <laughs> <laughs> we got to get in line now. Well, well, she so, doesn't leave her house, so if it's not, like, right there, uh, so yeah. since, since she's going to go back, like, like, all right, fill up on Little Caesars if you want. They, they have Little Caesars there, too, don't they? I'm sure, but that would mean her having to go find it and stuff. And have you taught her about, like, the DoorDash? Yeah. I have not. No. Oh. So, I mean, there is one alternative, is we teach her about this, and then for the last few years of her life, we watch her balloon up. I don't Ever wanted I don't to see our mom super fat? I don't think she could do it, because it would cost... The, that extra amount that they charge to bring it to yeah, her would true. just start yeah. like, oh my god that breaking her brain yeah it breaks my mom's brain too with instacart and she was like no nah, i gotta go to king supers so i was like well then go okay if you're really gonna worry about the six dollar surcharge on that then fine well look this is the they don't pick out the right balance for me blah, blah, blah. It's like, <laughs> okay and so, you do. You bat a thousand on milk. No, and that's not yeah, that. No. It's like, so you're going to shovel your driveway to go out there. Okay, cool. <laughs> so, it was like, that's the point. <laughs> One last thing that I do find funny about kids with, with all the, the, the kids I teach, right? Mm -hmm. That is, like I was asking, like, so what do they spend their birthday money and stuff like that on? Mm -hmm. Food. And it's just food getting delivered to the house. Really? Kids see that now? Yes. Oh. Yeah, it's so bizarre. It's like whose credit card do you use? Yeah. Well that's 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 the thing, is is uh so they'll they'll have like an account, right? They'll have it like tied into like like a save card, right? Oh. And I so see. they'll yeah. order something and they'll go to mom, there's like, here's eleven dollars, right? Oh. Oh, I thought you'd mean like you go down to like Fucking, you know, the come and go and buy a Visa card or something. No, I'm sure some of that happens, but yeah, I was like... I can see William doing that. I could totally see my daughter. If my daughter could order Wendy's, she'd do it every fucking night. So, Because they, they don't spend their money on anything. Well, that was weird. I was like... Uh, oh, my daughter does. <laughs> well, I was asking her. I was, I was like... Uh, uh, so... They, they're talking about how they're getting money from like their relatives and stuff, and, and they're like... 20, right? And and I was like, so are they driving? I was like, no. Wait, the kids are 20 years old? Yeah. Like and, they, yeah. and they're drive. not going to the drive-thru. Drive. Don't crazy. go to the drive-thru. Um, it's just, it's so what do they spend their money Wait, for? do they know how to drive? No. See, that? <gasps> yeah, I'm noticing that's more common, too. No. Even amongst my students who live on a regional commuter campus, there's a bunch of them that don't fucking drive. So, and it's like, how do you get here? Why Uber? It's like, what the oh fuck? Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, and it's like, you got to be kidding me. So, like, do you know how expensive that is? And you oh. all think you got tippers, too? Jesus Christ. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. That, there was that. They, they, Uber to, to basically, like, to school or something. It's like, mm -hmm. so when they go out to, like, start, because, like, I'm going back to us, right? And so it was like, well, we want to go to Poverty Burger. It's like, okay, well, if you're 15, you walk. Yeah. Which is what we did. Yeah. If you were 16, then somebody was driving. Yeah. Right? But yeah, a lot of these kids are like, don't drive, take Ubers, have food delivered to the house. Because that was the, the extension was, why Uber it when, why Uber and go when they'll just 
drive it over here to the house. Yeah, as opposed to save money on both of those things and drive your own ass over there. So, yeah. Now, I, yeah, I've noticed that too. Man. Wow. Wild! Absolutely. I was like, it is wild. you're shitting me. Well, it's wild, especially in a town like this where there's no fucking transport whatsoever. Oh, yeah. yeah. And so, yeah. like, yeah, there's there's a lot of folks that I see that's, oh, just Uber over there. It's like, drive, man. Or walk. So, or walk, whatever. It's not that far. Yeah, and so... You know, it's just, yeah, but it's it's the wow. students that I have that are, you know, these are people who are sophomores, juniors in college. And, you know, it's like, how many of you drove here today? And, like, half of them raised their hands. It's like, so the rest of you live on campus? They're like, no. And they're like, what? <laughs> so what What street trolley brought you here? Yeah, exactly. Do you have a teleportation machine? I right, like exactly. on this. So. This man is half flying. <laughs> did, you, did you ride the rough, tough, and dangerous? <laughs> <laughs> Sir, see so, the school nurse. Yeah, exactly. Because you're going to so. start barfing on your food here soon <laughs> to dissolve it before you eat it. Wow. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was shocking for me. Now, now yeah. some of these guys, again, they're... California, Chicago. Yeah, yeah, if you live in a big city like that, it's fine. You but know? You know, well, but so. they're still having the food brought to them. See, that that's the part that's a little crazy. So, you know, like, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, uh, I don't want to go into kids today. No, we've yeah. already done enough old man yeah. cranky shit today. Wait, 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 so, yeah. Talking about how to get out of weddings early and stuff. And All right. How to pick a suitable mate. <laughs> 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 Let the stars dictate it. The stars. No, you take more dice out of the thing. If you put them in there, you can still throw it. You just, you just go down to where like the watering hole is, like club one, and bring it back to the house. <laughs> Probably like, had a the better Buffalo success club. rate. Yeah. <laughs> so. All right, I'm Pat. I'm Will. I'm Jeffrey. We're going to keep talking, Will. Patrick. I'm going to run down there and hit the button. Yeah. yeah. Get to it or it's going to explode. Well, you have 10 seconds. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. We're just doing a little bit like post game wrap up. Post game wrap up? Yeah. Go playoffs? Avs suck? Yeah, they can't get their shit together.